Hello friends. Welcome to my new Angular JS tutorial series video. Today, we will learn about events in Angular JS. Friends. In our previous tutorial we discussed about Bootstrap CSS forms. We created a Bootstrap CSS form having text fields, labels, radio button, checkbox and submit button. Let's run this HTML file. On browser you can see it has displayed a vertical form having username and password as text fields. It also has radio button and a checkbox, along with a submit button. I will be using this HTML file and demonstrate how AngularJS events works. Moving ahead. For this tutorial, let's copy and paste bootstrap-forms.html file into site root folder and rename it to events.html open the file we will add few angular js events to it in order to add angular js functionality to it we will import angular.js file to its head section in my previous tutorials we have created a controller by name, city controller. Let's copy and paste it into controllers folder. And rename it to events controller. To this controller, let's provide a different Angular JS application module, say events app. Also change name of the controller to, events controller. Now let's use this controller and application module name in events.html. To body element provide ng app as events app and ng controller as events controller. Thus, now events.html file will respond to events app module and its controller by name, events controller. Let's add our first Angular JS event to it. When user clicks on login button, I want an event to get triggered. In order to trigger a event on submit button, there is a Angular JS directive by name, ng click. This directive takes in a name of event that will be triggered when user clicks on submit button. Here, we provide a event name as login function. When user clicks on login button, login function will get invoke. Now suppose we want to display a username in an alert when user clicks on login button. Let's provide a ng model to username text field as username. In the events controller, let's create a function by name login. This function will contain logic for what happens when user clicks on login button. Let's say we provide a alert statement to it. In this alert, we just display, welcome and username. In order to use events controller functionality, we will have to import controller JS file into HTML. After importing the controller file, let's run it. In the form let's enter username as Hoverspot and click login button. It displays an alert welcome Hoverspot. Thus, using ng click, events gets triggered in AngularJS. Like ng click there are various directives which can generate events in Angular JS application. Let's move ahead and see working of ng show directive.
On the top of form let's create a primary bootstrap button and name it as, show. Associate a ng click event to it by name, display. In the div element let's provide ng show attribute. Let's provide a value to it as, visible. Here, visible will act as a variable in the scope of events controller. In the events controller provide a function display. In the display function, assign a reverse value to the visible variable in scope. And outside display function assign a value to visible as false. Thus, whenever display event will be triggered, it will reverse value of visible. Now ng show directive works on the value of visible. If visible value is true, it will display div element or element on which it is placed. If visible value is false, it will hide element on which it is placed. Let's run this HTML file. Initially value of visible is false, hence only show button is visible. On clicking show button, value of visible becomes true and thus div element is visible and again clicking will make it hide as value of visible becomes false similarly there is also another directive similar to ng show by name ng hide it works the same way as ng show but as name suggest when visible variable is true it will hide element and when it becomes false it displays element thus Initial value of visible variable is kept as true, to hide the div element. The display function remains as it is. On running HTML file, it runs the same way, how it ran in ng show. So friends, go through this video 2 to 3 times so that, events in AngularJS, concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give 1 minute to like share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.